Back with news across Texas as Texans gathered for Thanksgiving. Many enjoy traditions like passing down family stories over dinner. But one central Texas family is celebrating some major milestones this year as their father soars to new heights hitting his 90th birthday. But as our Monica Madden reports, his life story is what makes him truly unique as America's oldest U.S. Air Force Academy graduate. Take a look now. I wanted to fly and uh, that's what I've been doing ever since. Retired Major Paul Lason has been flying longer than most people have been alive. So I started uh, 1960. And heading into his 90th year, the Georgetown pilot is still flying. When you get up and pull the gear up and start climbing, the world looks so much better, so much better. That milestone encapsulating a lifetime of excellence. In 2017, Layson flew with the Thunderbirds. The regulations say we can't fly anybody over the age of 55. <laughs> and I, I was a little bit over the age. <laughs> he also won a Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award, but Layson has never cared about the accolades. What did getting that award mean to you? Uh, not much. <laughs> <laughs> In 1959, Layson was part of the first class to ever graduate from the U.S. Air Force Academy. First opportunity I had to get into the service, uh, I took it. He went on to serve in the Vietnam War, flying F-105s in more than 100 combat missions. In retrospect, it, it, it was a big waste. But at that time, we didn't question it. We just, it was our job. Decades later, the scars from war remain. And I was fortunate to survive, but quite a few of my friends did not. It takes me back, it takes me back. It's a bit of history, a bit of history. Yeah. He can count at least 44 friends. We lost a lot of people. Many of whom he taught to fly, killed in combat. And those names and those people and those faces come back to see you. Come back to see you. Another face Paul misses, his co-pilot in the skies and in life, his wife Barbara. My wife and I, Barb and I, uh, we always had a wonderful home and a lot of love in the home. They were married for 52 years before she passed in 2011. There's a good reason to share his story. Um, he's a valiant warrior. He's a passionate husband and father and he's extraordinarily good at flying aircraft. Now, his son Michael accompanies him on adventures. His pride for his dad surpasses the elevations they've soared to together. I'm extraordinarily grateful for what he's taught me. Life lessons learned from the sky that Michael will never forget. He's a survivor. Whatever life threw at him, he managed to survive it. And whether it was guns and bombs and bullets, or just the hard knocks of life, because he did come from a very, very humble beginning, uh, like many Americans of his generation. He survived. It's been a good life for, for me, as far as I'm concerned, because I, I did what I wanted to do, and I got to do a lot of it, and I'm still doing some of it. And Paul actually turned 90 years old on Wednesday, so to celebrate, he and Michael flew together to Florida to mark the holidays and those milestones together. Paul also, though, says he is feeling like he's, quote, hitting his absolute ceiling of his career and plans to officially retire very soon.